there's a lot of people that have died from AIDS, from AIDS-related disease. And I don't want to take away from those people because this, to have a weakened immune system is a painful way for the body to die. But I want to look for another reason. I want to look for a better, more, more logical, more effective reason for an, any kind of AIDS related disease other than a simple virus. Because really, in my mind, I don't see how a virus could somehow morph into a syndrome. Only that the virus could weaken the body, and then the body might get another illness, but that other things could also weaken the body. I, see, at this point, I'm repeating myself. My God. I want You know why? Because I'm freaking out about getting this in in 10 minutes, and maybe I'm just going to go explain what I feel and think and split it up and let, let it be on there. And if people watch it, they watch it. If people don't watch it, they don't watch it. I can only explain what I, what I see. That AIDS can cause uh, the body to be weak. Or, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I substituted AIDS for the word HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus can weaken the body. And when that, when that, is, that process is happening, then the body can get sick. But human immunodeficiency virus is not necessarily the, the only cause, or even a cause. It can be. That's it. Looking for it, looking for the low T cell count. Looking, looking God, for... My mind spirals sometimes. I apologize for that. A disease. You're going to find it. The people were wearing themselves out in the mid-80s, and there was this shame with the gay culture associated with that. What I, what I feel is that the community ha felt shame about being gay because it was we were such a structured, religious, Christian society where it's like, you're gay, don't talk about it. So you've got all these people partying so hard, disassociating so hard, just having a fun time, doing drugs, drinking, lack of sleep, and passing disease, passing virus, viruses to each other that were weakening their immune systems. And then when it was looked at under a microscope scientifically, they found, they, they decided to call it AIDS, even though these different people had different diseases that they were dying from. It was just kind of strange that they were all dying around the same time in the same area. And probably the HIV virus had to do with their weakened immune systems. I'm sure it did. But it, you know, it was present, but it wasn't cause. The cause was what they were doing to their bodies. They fucked themselves up and they died as a result. It seems like every time I, I go to make a point, I go to HIV might be there, but it wasn't the cause. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue on. And the, the, part, the hard partying lifestyles and the poppers and the alcohol and the cigarettes and the lack of sleep was racking these people's bodies. Their T cell count would go down. They would start to get like pneumonia and they would go to the doctor and the doctor would be like, well, you got pneumonia and you got this disease and you got this disease. Well, let's look for a unifier. Okay, your T cell count is low. Your immune system is whacked. Then they took 40 different symptoms and lumped them into one disease. And, and your system is whacked. And they found the presence of antibodies, which led them to the presence of a retrovirus, which was there, HIV. This is very important. Because this last video I did, essentially, I was saying that there's no such thing as HIV, and that's what I think is complete ignorance. The virus is real. The virus is there, not to be afraid of it, because our body can protect itself from the virus. And you cannot get the virus just by being aware of your blood transfusion and your the amount of sex you're having. We call it AIDS. If you had, don't have a low T cell count, you get pneumonia. You have pneumonia, but if you do have a low T cell count and you get pneumonia, you have AIDS. That's true, and that's that's, that's kind of weird. And if you're in a different country. 
and you have a disease here that might give you AIDS in a different country, you might not have AIDS because different countries have different uh, definitions of what AIDS is, what, relate, what diseases fit under that category. So in some countries you'll have AIDS and then you'll go to another country and you won't have AIDS anymore. People have got to get together on this, this disease because it's, I don't want to just have there be a, a hang. I don't want there to be this, this auto killer. There's a, there's a ways to heal and live through this epidemic that seems like it's taking advantage of, it's not happening to us. We're, we're definitely bringing it on ourselves as a culture through a variety of inceptions. The way the scientific community has built it. And that's the structure that's rattling right now. That's the structure that's about to fall. Our minds produce it. We're healthy people. The stress, the wear that we put on our bodies to lower our immune systems can be recorded scientifically and can be called HIV. Mm, no, I don't agree with that. I think the stress we put on our bodies from like lack of sleep is different than HIV virus. That's, a, that's a, its own thing. The stress that we put on our bodies might work in tandem with a virus to bring us to a place where we get sick. And be called AIDS when you get pneumonia when your immune system is low. I'm not sure about that. I think if you, if you have a low immune, if you have a weakened immune system and pneumonia, that's still pneumonia, but if you have the presence of an HIV virus, then you're known to have AIDS. Dude, I looked up AIDS, and I was reading about it, and I couldn't get through a couple paragraphs without them saying HIV, like interchanging it. Like it means the same thing, and it's a totally different thing, totally different. The HIV is a, is a virus. It's a very much its own thing, and AIDS is a syndrome that is like, it's like, a, it's like an idea that encapsulates a bunch of different literal diseases. It's so strange that they would interchange these words. Why you have AIDS, why they would say this person has AIDS and this person doesn't. You would have to fit certain criteria. I wonder if the HIV virus is part of that criteria. I have a feeling that it is. but Because I don't think you can have AIDS and not test positive for the HIV virus, I think then they would just say that you don't have AIDS, which is kind of dangerous because that person could be just as sick as somebody with the HIV, like someone with pneumonia could be just as sick as someone with the HIV virus and pneumonia, and one person, but we gotta, we gotta, you know, don't treat these people differently just because, don't be afraid of, of people because we think they have a medical status. It's really, you know, it's more fluid than that. And you can have the fear of God put into you that, if it's, that it can be transmitted through bloodstream. Yes, HIV sex. can. HIV can be transmitted. But it's not. Yes, it is. This is my ignorance. I see it. HIV can be transmitted through the blood. It is. Through blood transfusion and sexual intercourse, the semen the virus can be passed around. It's the way you are. Whether or not you get sick is up to you. When, when you say the way you are, that's whether or not you get sick from a virus is up to, up to your own personal lifestyle. I believe that.